Good YouTubing everybody. Thanks for visiting the channel and checking out the review. Let's talk about Kentaro from Mortal Kombat 2 by Storm Collectibles. What we're going to talk about is what we like about the figure and what we don't like about the figure. Check out its measurements, the accessories, go through the articulation, how the figure scales against some figures, check out the box, look at the pricing, and where the figure was purchased. And at the end of the video, we have a few photos showing the figure in multiple poses with all of its accessories, just to add a little flair. As you can see him standing tall around here on the, on the circle, looks fantastic. We know that when we get a little closer look, it's gonna be a little different or it might not be any different. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and take him off the stand and give him a measure and get a, a much detailed look on this figure to see what Storm Collectibles has done with him. Okay, here he stands tall, breaking out the stick. It looks like he's gonna be roughly sitting under nine inches tall. And then you flip it over to the centimeter side if he's right at nine inches, he'll be roughly under 23 centimeters. That's where he's at, that's where he's standing, and that's what we're working with today. Okay, so let's go ahead and scale him up with a few other figures. Let's check him out with Motaro here. Okay, pretty big figure here, nice size. And let's go ahead and give him a little bit of some reptile, just to have that smaller figure in there with the two big ones and there they are scaled up looking good they all three look good but i tell you that that guitar back there that's a fine looking character okay so let's go ahead and check out his accessories because he has plenty quite a lot first i'm going to start off with his fireball you got the fireball there nice it's a two-piece fireball here it comes come comes apart there you go and it goes back in. I think that's for lighting reasons. You can put some kind of light in there and have that fireball real shiny. Also, it has a stand that comes with it and it sticks inside the hole here. Great addition, great addition on that. So we're gonna start off with the heads first. That's what I wanted to check out. Let's go ahead with the meme mug. Got your meme mug head there, looking mad. Looked like somebody took something from him. Hey. Did you, did you? No, I didn't. No, I didn't, Kentaro. But yeah, that's a great looking mask. You got his ears there. Good paint work. Not too bad, not too, not cheap. Sculpt's good. Look at those eyes there, painted well. Just like an old dragon. And then you got his teeth, and they look great. Looking great. And it's on the ballpoint, as you can see there. Nicely done. On the other hand, he has an open mouth, same head, same paintwork, ears on the ball joint. His mouth is just open and you can see the fangs of his teeth. I thought that looked pretty good too. Not bad, good job Storm Collectibles. Get a little closer look there. Nice, nice. Okay, so we can either look at the hands that are open and the hands that are balled up. So let's go with the open hands. It looks like we're going on for his right hand here. One of his right hands, here's an open look. Good detail, got the vein works, got the nails right there, the polish, good stuff, good stuff. And here you go for the other right hand, there you are. Looking good, got the bends in the, in the skin there on the palm, very nice, that black nail polish. Storm Collectibles, they never fail, and if they do, it's very minor, but they do a great job. And there goes the hole to put the hands in. Great. I like it. I like it. We got two more open hands here on the left side. Let's start with one of them here. Looks like the hands are pretty much the same. Not a lot of difference. Only difference is it's left and right. So if you're looking at it here, pretty much the same. Got a little bit of vein work. Great paint. Got them on the nails. The palms look really good, as you can see here. Nice. And let's go ahead to the last pair of hands on the left. Same thing we just talked about. 
Looking good. All right. Let's see if we can get in focus there. There we are. I think. I tried to get in focus, but it's good as it's going to get. But they're all the same hands. They all have the same texture. And they look the same, just on different sides of each other. Good job. Now, we're going to go ahead and look at some of the blood that comes from the arms when he rips off the opponent's arms. And actually, we also have a piece where he takes Sub-Zero's head and cuts it in half. Let's go ahead and look at the bloody pieces. There you go. You got your blood there. That comes off where it arm or a neck. It could be anywhere. Arm, neck, leg. It doesn't matter. That's part of the blood that splats out. You got one of those. And then you have another close to his neck. And it looks like there's a spine in there. You get what you see? I see, <laughs> I see a spine in there. Is that a spine? Not quite sure. Let's go ahead and look at it closely here. It looks like, a, I don't know. But that's, that's, that's something else. I think that goes on his head. That's, that's two. Also here, another one. And here's another. Like how many times are you going to rip off people's arms, Kentaro? <laughs> and here we are with the last one. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you this fatality wise where he breaks the, the face off. So you got his face there. He gets it and he, he breaks it off. And there you have it. That's pretty cool. N nice detail there. Not bad. It's a little flat skin there. Breaks it off. Nice. And I didn't show you the balled up fist. So you get four pair of cores. Let's go with the right side. Right side fist here. There goes one. Nice and balled up. Got his nails. It's not any different than the other hands. Just his hand is now balled up into a fist. With some knuckles. And some great detail, actually. Nice job. Second pair here. Right? Nice. I would not want to be punched by him. And then we're going for the left hands. Here we are. There they are. Completely the same. Just opposite hands. Nice. Last one. All right, looking good, looking good. Storm Collectibles, I am not mad at you guys. You guys do a good job. Okay, and here's another accessory that I thought was strange, unless I got me a Sub-Zero figure, because some people have the figure, and some people don't have the figure. Well, let's go ahead and, and show the arms. <laughs> Here we are. You got his icy blue arms, right, for each side. That's for him to rip off, rip away. Okay, icy blue arms, all right. And the funny thing about all this is each, there's so many different hands in this. I mean, hands for days. Why are there so many blue hands for this here? <laughs> I wasn't quite sure, but as you can see here, they're all different shapes of blue hands, sub-zero hands. <laughs> different shapes everywhere i think there's like five or six different shapes why is that i i don't know i don't know this is kentaro this is this is not sub-zero but this is what they gave us so i guess it's for, for fatality reasons but this is what they give us look at i mean the hands go on for days yeah that's strange okay and that's it on the accessories so let's go ahead and knock out this articulation. We see that the figure is a big guy. Super big. Check him out. He's, he's, a, he's a pretty good size. We're going to go ahead and start at the top here. I want to look at the head. Look at the swivel on the head here. Let's go ahead and swivel around. All right. That's good. I think let's go ahead and take it off. Yes, that's on a ball point there. You see? That's on a ball point. Looking good. And it, like I said, it goes all the way around, down, up, sideways, whatnot. Everything's great on the head movement. I'm pretty impressed. Turn around to the back here. 
All right, the paint paintwork is pretty good. He's got that more of an orangish color paint on his back. That's more of that that tiger look. And these shoulder pads here. These shoulder pads are they're not stationary. They go along with the uh, chastity here. That way you get more range of motion when you're using your arms, which I think that is really good. Let's go ahead and bring it back to the front. Uh, the chest chastity here is loose, yes. And then you got this, it's kind of loose. So the whole chastity thing here is loose. This is loose right here. The spikes are, they're not really cheap, but they're they are nice enough. They look really good. And the paint isn't really good on, on, the, on the knives here. I'm pretty impressed with that. Good job on that Storm Collectibles. It's got a lot of neck muscles here. They actually move around some. It's real squishy. His chest is squishy. All right. And let's see what we're working with when it comes to the articulation that's in his arms. Let's see if we can find that. So his arm articulation, of course, can be a little more higher because of the fact that this is not stationary. So he's got that, that latch there. So up and down latch. Then he has the bicep swivel. And also he can lift it high. And then inside here by the forearm, it goes in and out. And then the rotation in his hands, which his hands are interchangeable. Plus these bracelets come off as well. So I, I, I like that was a nice addition if you wanted to keep them on or not. And it's going to be the same on both sides. No, each side is the same. They have the same stuff, bicep swivel. They have the latches. And they have the bending in the arms. Same on all four of his arms. Nothing's different on his arms. Same with the latches, up and down. And he's got the bicep swivels. And he's got the same pieces here. And his hands are interchangeable. And they move around. They, they come in and they come out. So they did very well when it comes to the articulation of this big, huge character. I was impressed by it. I actually have no complaints about it. Not yet, anyway. So far, so good. I mean, look at his back here. The paintwork. I thought that they would just get a Goro and slap it on. But this is not a Goro. This is something completely different. And they did a good job on him. I mean, look at all that texture, that painting, the stripe, the tiger stripes. Looking good. They've got this material here. It's real flimsy. What makes it look like his belt. Let's go for a crunch. All right. So he does have a good little crunch there. All right, it's nice and crunch there. And this front of his belt here, I would say the yin yang sign, when I'm looking at it, kind, kind of rushed. It's got kind of a little blemish in it. Could have been more smoother, but it's not. For the price of the figure, it needed to be more smoother. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out his legs. You have his, this is nothing but hard plastic. Same with his belt, the same kind of material. He has. That is his leg, the, the latches of his leg, as you can hear. And then it comes back down, as so. And then he has the bend in his leg. That's as far as you're gonna get the bend in the leg. It's not going no farther than that. And it comes down and he's got this pad here that's in the way. There's gonna be nothing else on the legs there. Yep, and then in the foot, he and in the, in the foot there, he has this pivot in the toe. It's got my pivot in the toe, oh yeah. Bring it down. And then it swivels. All right. And so far, for this character, I really like it. Storm Collectibles, I've been waiting for it for a long time. And you guys didn't, disappo didn't disappoint me. Thanks a lot for this. I'm going to go ahead and give this figure a 5 out of 5. For the fact that there's no limitations. Everything looks good on it. It has multiple, multiple accessories. And you can do so much with this figure. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like this figure? Do you want this figure? Or simply just don't care about it? Let me know something. And here's the box that it came in. Storm Collectibles always ships their box in mint condition when it comes to the place that I buy them. There you go, you got the artwork there, Kentaro, him looking mad. You got the back work here. Oh. You got the back work here. It's got all different kind of poses you can do. All right. And then you got this side. Got his face there. And you got more to comment on the top of the box. Right there on the top. Nothing too fancy on the box. Nothing too fancy. And of course, I got it none other than Big Bad Toy Store. 
They always ship my stuff in mint condition, and I got this figure for $129 plus tax. Well worth the money. And if you're getting something shipped at this price, I recommend them too. Thanks, Big Bad Toy Store. And this brings us to the end of our video. If you found the video informational, or you just simply enjoyed watching, please hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe button. And as always, this has been another toy review. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.